12,000 mile wide ball floating in a cosmos 90 million miles from the sun with a moon circling us at 265,000 miles away. And in so many ways, it's all taken for granted that the supernatural nature of the earth, the supernatural nature of man, is so often taken for granted and it's normalized. But this is a journey of searching for God, searching for meaning, searching for the truth behind what is really happening here. Because I think all mankind must be able to see that the earth at this point is heading towards time. Hi, my name's Andy. I don't want to make this video about me, but to give it some context, I would just like to give you a little bit of background just on why I believe the tribulation of Jesus, of God, is about to happen and when it's going to happen. But let me just uh, fill you in, um, give you the sort of story of why I believe the tribulation is imminent. I believe in Jesus. I believe that the Bible is the word of God. 2,000 years later, after the man Jesus, God Jesus that died and rose again to pay the price for our sins lived, what can we know of God? What can we know of Jesus at this point? Is God still active and is God still working? Well, I'd like to present some uh, strange coincidences that have happened in my life over the last four or five years to show you why I think the tribulation of the living God is about to happen, why judgment is going to come on this earth and that the rapture of the church is imminent. I became a Christian in my early 20s, um, about the age of 21. Um, I read a book by a chap called Hal Lindsey called Late Great Planet Earth, which, although he wasn't correct about everything, the, he, he saw what was coming. Um, and although many of the things that he put in that book were not correct, he still sort of had the big picture. Um, so let me jump forward to uh, 2011. I'd been a Christian for, well, the best part of uh, 25, 26 years by that stage. Um, and the, the, the sign from Revelation 12, um, verse 1 and 2, of the woman clothed with the sun, with the moon at her feet, with the crown of 12 stars, um, was found by uh, two people. It was found by William Tapley, um, and Scotty Clark, both guys found it independently, but that really sparked my curiosity because if the signs from the revelation are up there in the heavens, then it means that Jesus is real and the timing is coming now. So I went on after they found those to look further because in Revelation 12, verse 3 and 4, there's a sign of a dragon. Um, and when I went to use the packages, Stellarium, I found the dragon, um, which happened between November um, 2017 to December 2017. So at this point, we have seen the Revelation 12, verse 1 and 2, and we've seen Revelation 12, verse 3. And the next thing that happens in Revelation 12, verse 4, is that a third of the stars fall to earth. Uh, and Revelation 12, verse 5, is where the rapture happens. So it all started with the blood moon tetrad. There were four lunar eclipses. And if you then looked at the midpoint of that tetrad, which was the 5th of January, 2015, Every lunar and solar eclipse for a decade in each direction mirrored across that point. And I knew that that date, the 5th of January 2015, was significant as another sign in the heavens. I realised that there were 176 days between each blood moon. And then on the 4th of April 2015, it was the third blood moon. 
It was covered in fours. It was on the 4th of April, the 4th of the 4th. It lasted for 4 minutes and 44 seconds, and it was on the 44th minute of the hour. I realised that it was 88 days after the midpoint. 88, which is half 176, and all the fours, of course, 44, 88, 176. And I was beginning to see a pattern here, thinking, is there something in this? 88 days after that blood moon, there was what, what's being called the Bethlehem Conjunction, where Jupiter and Venus came together on a spot in the, in the constellation Leo, which appeared to be exactly the same spot where the Bethlehem star was 2,000 years ago. So you had 88 days after the midpoint of the Tetrad to the blood moon, and then 88 days from the blood moon to the Bethlehem conjunction. And I realised, so that 176 was there again. Uh, I won't take you into all the detail of the next bit, but basically by adding 176 and 176 to that, um, that brought us to the 17th of June 2016. 17, 6, 176, 176. This is where things just became in a way that I could not comprehend. I found a massive pattern of day counts from really significant events which all pointed towards the 17th of June 2016. When I had that pattern, a strange coincidence occurred. I was clearing out my shed one day, just a few weeks, maybe a month before the 17th of June, and I'd lived in that house for the best part of 10 years, never really cleared out the shed, but in the corner of my shed, there was one paper which was lying upside down in the corner of the shed. It had been there for 10 years, I'd never touched it. I turned that paper over, it said the 17th, 18th of June, weekend, 1995. That may just be a coincidence, but of course I sat there and I went, now what's the chances of the one paper in my shed having the 17th, 18th of June weekend on it? when I was looking at this massive pattern for the 17th of June. One in 365, you say. But my house, my shed, with me having this pattern, I was sitting there going, OK, is God in that? I'll come back to the paper in a while. A second strange coincidence that happened. I was on a website um, and there was a lady called Lisa Lini who had had a, a vision, an open vision, of people walking towards the Pope on a red carpet and she got stopped by an angel and he said don't go there um, and gave her a parchment or a paper or a you know with the number 11192 on it and she said to him what is it and he said it's a date and promptly the vision stopped now on my piano at home unbeknownst to me um, I found a plaque with the number 11192 on it. Um, and I didn't suddenly go, oh my goodness, that's an amazing coincidence. I sat and I looked at that plaque and I prayed about it and I said, is there significance? Why do I have this plaque on my piano with the number 11192 on it? Um, and at that point, I didn't know what to do with the 11192, but I just went, okay, that could have, have significance. So when the 17th of June 2016 passed and nothing happened, of course I said to God, I said, what was that all about then? Why was there this massive pattern pointing towards the 17th of June and nothing happened? That led me onwards to look at the 30th of July because it was 40 days later. So when the 30th of July arrived, as I was expecting the rapture, I sat in my garden and two orbs appeared out of nowhere. Two large glowing orange orbs appeared above my garden and they rotated round each other and almost did a cosmic dance. I got the last bit of it on film and then over the course of the next few weeks I had three sets of supernatural orbs. They came into the field that I was camping in, they went over the head of my house, they had I saw hundreds of little white lights moving in and out of each other and duplicating and there were supernatural events that happened in the heavens. And I had another, so, and the last one of those, the 16th of August 2016. So if you jump forward a year to the 16th of August 2017, which of course was 
leading up to the Revelation 12 signs, I had a night where I was in Wales and there were stars moving all over the place. Stars would move across the heavens, touch each other and move back, flash on and off. Um, and so this is where I'm saying at the beginning of this film, I said that the supernatural nature of life seems to have been um, hidden in uh, by science and by man at the moment and everything seems very natural but supernatural things have happened that I have seen. So going back to the 18th, the 17th, 18th of June and Lisa Leaney's 11192 vision and the plaque. So after looking at Lisa Leaney's vision of the people walking towards the Pope on a red carpet, I realised that this was the abomination of desolation, which is spoken about in the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel. And I believe the number 11192 is the date of the abomination of desolation. The plaque that I found had a two on the front, so it had 21 on it as well. Now, if you go to Hanukkah in 2021, which is the 29th of November 2021, of course, the number backwards is 29, 11, 21. Originally, I, so I looked at that date, the 29th of the 11th, 2021, as the abomination of desolation. So if you subtract 1,260 days from the 29th of November, 2021, that takes you to the 18th of June, 2018. Now that's where it ties back into the paper that I found because the paper was the 17th, 18th of June. So I had a big pattern that pointed to the 17th of June, 2016, and then going from the Lisa Lini vision of the abomination of desolation, coming back 1,260 days, took me to the 18th of June, 2018. So there was the 17th, 18th of June. Then, so I took the 18th of June, 2018, and actually said, well, how does that tie in to the uh, lunar tetrad that we had, and the blood moons, and the... Bethlehem conjunction and the sign in Virgo and the dragon and all of the other signs in the heavens that we have. Um, it turns out that the 18th of June 2018 is 1,260 days after the midpoint of the Tetrad, which was the 5th of January 2015. So you have from the midpoint of the Tetrad, 1,260 days until the 18th of June 2018, which was confirmed to me by the paper that I found in the shed, which was a coincidence or meaningful. And then from the 18th of June 2018, adding 1,260 days, which is the first half of the tribulation, that takes you to the 29th of November 2021, which was confirmed to me by the plaque and Lisa Lini's dream. So I believe at this point that the tribulation will start on the 18th of June 2018 and that that means that sometime between now and the 18th of June the rapture of the church will happen. The saints, those that believe in Jesus, will be raptured off to heaven. Yes, heaven. Is coming to rapture.